So how do you stay motivated when you're trying to learn how to code? Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Dorian, a self-taught programmer. I created this channel to share my story and help motivate others who are currently learning how to code. If that's something you're into, please make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I've never been a highly motivated individual. When I first started learning how to code, I was very motivated because my wife and I were expecting a kid. And you know, that's a big life-changing event that, that can really light a fire under someone. And it did for me. But before that, I was mostly a slacker, you know? Um, in my 20s, I, I drank a lot, I played a lot of video games, I, I worked jobs that, you know, had no significance. I, I could go to work, get the job done, and come home and do whatever I wanted. I never had to really take work home with me, but I also never had any room to grow in what I was doing. I was just waiting tables and parking cars and doing customer service jobs, which weren't really gonna lead me into a great career by any means. And once the kid was on the way, I got motivated to, to learn how to code. But one thing that happens a lot with self-taught programmers and people who kind of are on their own when it comes to learning something is you can be highly motivated at first and then the honeymoon phase kind of dwindles and it's not fun anymore. When it's, when it's new and it's fun, you know, you're, you're all into it. You're learning all these new things and everything is, is, is beautiful. And, and it's all rainbows and butterflies, every tutorial you watch. And, and you're really like, yeah, I can, I can do this. And, and you start. And, and that's honestly one of the hardest things to do is getting started. Getting started is by far one of the hardest things to do in anything you do in life. And I've learned that now that I'm older and I realized that a lot of the times I would write stuff off because I would say, oh, that's too hard or I'm not smart enough and, 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 or I just don't know how to do that. And once you kind of get out of that mindset, you, you start realizing that you can really learn anything and do anything as long as you put in the time. But that's where the problem comes in. It's a lot of time and motivation goes away after a while and you have to then be dedicated. And that's what kept me going when I was teaching myself how to code and I would come to roadblocks or I would, you know, just not feel up to it. I made sure that I, I did something at least every day that had to do with code. I tried to code every day and writing code every day is the best way to get good at writing code. And you know, when you get a job as a, a programmer, you get better faster because you're doing it eight hours a day. And if you're learning how to code and you have that kind of time to dedicate to learning, you should focus and try to write that much code every day. Everybody's circumstances are different and not everyone has that kind of time to dedicate to writing code every day. And when I couldn't write code, but I had downtime when I was at work, I would read blogs, I would read books on JavaScript and web development, I would watch videos, I would do the little phone tutorials that I could do, and, and I would do anything that I could when I wasn't in front of my laptop and I wasn't able to you know, sit down and code, and I would still try to supplement the lack of writing code with other things that focused around what I was trying to learn. And, and yes, the, you don't wanna get stuck reading books and watching videos too much, but if you are coding every day and you find yourself one of those off days that you can't get to your computer or you're busy, but you have that 20 or 30 minutes to maybe look up a video on, on how a for loop works or look up something on, on Flexbox or read a tutorial online really quickly in the 20 minute span that you have on how to implement CSS Grid or anything, anything that, that, that has to do with the area of development that you're learning. And honestly, staying dedicated is way more important than being motivated. Um, dedication is what gets the job done. Dedication is showing up every day. Dedication is consistency. It's just one of those things when you go in knowing that something is gonna take you a long time to be good at and it's gonna take you a long time to achieve, you kinda set yourself up for the long haul. And that's what becoming a programmer is. It's a marathon, not a sprint. This is learning little bits of information over long periods of time until you become a wealth of knowledge in your expertise. 
and that's that's what you're doing now if you're a self-taught programmer you're you're just starting you're you're learning all those little things that that everyone has to learn when they're first starting out i learned them everyone has to learn them i i i've been a developer three years and i'm still learning stuff every day and this will never end so really find your motivation find find your muse find what lights your fire find what makes you want to do this because everybody's got it you could be broke you could maybe want to upgrade your life you can maybe be sick of what you're doing for a living maybe maybe you just want to build something on your own maybe you want to become an entrepreneur maybe you want to help people and the best way to do that is to build something that's going to be beneficial to a group of individuals that don't have that right now do that find what makes you want to get into this but when it's time to stick with it, just remember all those things and think about all those reasons and, and kind of keep those in mind. And, and when you start losing that motivation, when the honeymoon phase is over, do whatever you got to do to stay motivated if that's what you need, if you can't stay dedicated. It's, it's a weird balance. You just got to find it and you got to like stick through it and grind it out and it's tough and it's hard and sometimes it sucks and sometimes it's great and sometimes you're on cloud nine figuring out a problem and you know sometimes it's been three days and you're banging your head against your keyboard because you don't know how to fix something and you don't have anyone to reach out to and that's understandable when you're self-taught so make sure you network and try to get around other people that are are doing what you're doing reach out to people on social media reddit twitter People are active, people want to help, you know, Stack Overflow, all of those resources, use them to your advantage. We live in a re remote day and age. We're in the middle of a pandemic and everyone's remote now. So, you know, just, just try to do whatever you can to stick with it. And one thing that is kind of silly, but it used to help me a lot was I would listen to motivational speeches and videos on YouTube. And those days that I kind of felt like, oh, I don't want to do it today. I would turn on one of those those inspirational YouTube videos that I'm sure everyone's kind of at least seen one. If you haven't, just type in motivational videos on YouTube and you'll you'll get a ton of them. But I would play those in the morning and hype myself up because I was I was really, really, really excited to do this. And the days that I wasn't, I had to remind myself why. And and I had to like kick myself in the ass and you know, kinda kinda get myself going sometimes. And that's all right. Find what hypes you up, find what gets you going. And you know, then remember why you started it and stick with it. Just trust me, stick with it. A lot of people get discouraged, they start off, it gets hard and they quit and they don't realize how close they were to actually achieving what they were setting out to do. So, you know, and that, that's for all areas of life. Just whatever you wanna do, go out there, get it and stick with it. And with all that said, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos on becoming a self-taught programmer and learning how to code. Thanks and see you next time.